So what are you doing now? Getting corn syrup out. Seven pounds. So about how many pounds are each blob? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. A close up of the sugar. Why not? Yeah, it's not auto focusing. <laughs> no. No, it was like super blurry. Retarder. To prevent flaking? Yep, to prevent flaking. Just under a teaspoon. With 24 pounds, I usually put a teaspoon in, but mm -hmm. I can put in, I can put a teaspoon or a little, a little less. What? Well, who moved the kettle up here? It's magic. <laughs> How many is, is that one and a half quart? Yeah, approximately. You guys got up to 310? Hope so. Yeah, boy, I hope so. However, will you guys check if it gets up to 310? You gotta put your finger in it. Did you already do that? Yeah. See, that's not sanitary. We've talked about this. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Don't put your finger in there. It's good advice for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you stretch? No, I forgot. Oh boy. Wheels are off the wagon already. That's some pretty hot candy. Thought we'd let Max sleep in. Yeah. Oh, it's 7, right now it's 7.25. Yeah, hey, he's still coming in like uh, coming an in hour eight. early, right? Hour coming and a half in, early? Yeah, it's coming in 8, so it's a crack it on. Hour and a half mm -hmm. early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hour and a half, that's about like 90 minutes, right? I think it's like if you took three half hours and strung them together, that's just fractions. Wow, yeah. you guys are amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's what they say. That's what the YouTubers say. <laughs> All the cool kids say. Oh, Craig, I tweeted about making this uh, hair ribbon candy. Because mm -hmm. today is Veterans Day, a lot of people have the day off, and thank you for your service, veterans. A lot of people have the day off, so if they want to come and watch us make this, I tweeted it. You said I only had like four followers. I have <laughs> 290. What? And I bet you by the end of the day I get like 295. So. Wow. Yeah. So, how about that? <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Okay. Winter green, for whatever reason, winter green is traditionally pink. It's something to do with some flower somebody wrote one time. Okay. I think the winter, winter green berries are pink, yeah. There you go. That makes sense. This is going to be one and three quarters of a shot for those of you who are putting together a batch at home. This is a 21 pound batch. Did you? A shot is one ounce. Yep. Did you already talk about this, the size of the batch with your papa? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you all know this is a 21 pound batch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you got on there and make one batch bigger, cinnamon or something? I couldn't understand. No, that. that's going to be. Well, you know what? How about when I have a chance to read it, we'll go over that. What's the knife in here for? I was going to wash it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good reason to put it in the sink, right? Yeah, but, you know, things happen. Like, the batch got up to 310 degrees, so we decided to do this So instead it doesn't of that. burn. Okay. Not burning the batch is pretty important. Don't forget that. Well, it <laughs> might. In case I do, maybe you'll cover my slack <laughs> or something. That'd be or something. That'd be pretty neat. What were we talking about? <laughs> Probably things. Right, but stuff. what things? Candy related things? See, if this was a live stream, people could tell us what it are talking <laughs> about. It could be my collective memory. Yeah. Hmm, let me dwell on this. Mm. Winter green, 21 pound batch. Max, sleep until the crack of 7.30 or so. I don't know. I don't think it was that important. Let's what just, if it was? Let's just move on. <laughs> 
<sighs> Not as strong as uh, peppermint, but. It's definitely a kinder, gentler flavor to start the day with. But it's and still winter green is a solid color. We don't yeah. do a stretch for this, which again oh, okay. is. This is like. Um, ribbon candy for babies. Yeah. This is the easy way to start off because we're not doing a stripe. Okay, so when I say for babies, maybe it's not that easy for Steve because that means it's a bigger batch for him to pull on the hook. Yeah. But it's easier for me and that's what's important. Yeah. Okay. So we're not going to do a stripe. It's going to be solid color pink. And the reason that's easier is because um, I don't have to pull out a stripe and mix in the color. Because when I do that, when I pull a stripe and mix in the color, I also have to watch the big blob. Mm -hmm. And the big blob can get cold and out of hand and stuff while I'm busy mixing the color. Because mm -hmm. I normally, depending on the size of the batch, normally your dad and I just do this by ourselves. Yeah. And um, stack it after we make each flavor, we stack it ourselves. Mm -hmm. But th these batches are going to be a little bit bigger because we sold out too early last year. Yeah. So these batches will be a little bit bigger. So that's why we have Max coming in. He's going to stack. He's going to help us stack it. And then um, I'm going to try to train him a little bit more on how to twist. Yeah, you can step in here and there. Yeah, I'll just have him do a few. He's pretty nervous about it, but um, he shouldn't be because that's how we all learn. It's yeah. Because no um, the if it, any pieces that are kind of wrecked, we use those pieces to make weight because these will be 10 ounce bags. So mm. if it's 9.75 ounces, well, we'll just put in a little smidgen to make it 10 ounces. If it's not the prettiest smidgen you ever saw, no big deal. Okay, so it's getting colder. I'm going to uh, add the coloring. So I'm going to switch to canvas gloves. And put in a dab of color. I'm not known for dabbing, but... I've been known to use a little too much color, so I'm going to try to put in just a dab. I think you're supposed to put your head down in your, like... Um, nah, it's a whole big thing. Yeah. You know what? Let's change the way dabbing is done to this way. Okay. I'm cool with that. I don't see why I can't. Since I don't do that anyway. It won't affect me. This is true. Okay, switch into the canvas gloves. That's a widow dab, right? Mm-hmm. For that big batch? Mm-hmm. It's already bleeding. This mm. should be fairly easy to not make a mess with. Yeah. Because it's inside. Famous last words could be. <laughs> it's the, the little, the, doing a little stripe and trying to keep the color contained in that, that's a that's challenge. Cool. Yeah. And uh, it's one I accept on a regular basis and usually I get beat. Mm-hmm. doing this the other day without those canvas gloves on even. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> he would like... He was uh, wearing the vinyl gloves, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, and then uh, I would, every once in a while I would see him like pull his hand away and go, Ow! and I was like, man, just put canvas gloves on. He's like, no. I'm like, okay. Oh boy, where was I? <laughs> oh, somewhere else. And then that was the same day that he was also trying to uh, do the twisting ribbon candy without changing to <laughs> yeah, vinyl sure gloves. gloves. Yeah, that yeah. would work. Yeah. I've actually seen your dad do it, like, um, when I say um, we were stacking the ribbon candy ourselves. Sometimes I'd have to stop and, and push the candy down. Mm -hmm. So he would try to step in and twist it wearing his canvas gloves. Not the prettiest ribbon y'all ever saw. <laughs> but, I mean, he couldn't take time to change them. Yeah. But it was just kind of kind of funny. You do what you can. Mm-hmm. Well, that changed the color really nicely. Yep. Steve, when you put um, vegetable shortening on this table next time, can you really try to, this area right where the crack is, if you can really try to put a little extra on there? I 
pot. I'm kind of staying away from the center because mm -hmm. the center gets so hot and it gets so sticky. So if I can maybe use the whole table, yeah, maybe that'll mm -hmm. help. Maybe. We'll find out. We probably will. Or not. <laughs> so, it snowed today. It's the first measurable snowfall here in yeah. central New York. Good for us. I'm pumped. <laughs> I have a, I mean, okay, and I don't ski, <laughs> but I have a feeling it's just me and the skiers and the snowmobilers and the cross country skiers who are pumped. <laughs> the other people, not so much. Yeah. But this is good for uh, ribbon candy. This is what we've been waiting for because folks are screaming for ribbon candy. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure people on the YouTubes are probably screaming for it too, but... Uh, that's what I was talking about, actually. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, we, we'll go over this and over this, but this is going to be a very thin ribbon candy. Doesn't ship well. And some of you are going to go, I don't care, I want it anyways. So, it'll be colored dust if that's what you want. And if that's what you want, fine, we'll do it. Little mm -hmm. tiny pieces. Little shards. Mm. It'll, be, it'll be no resemblance to ribbons whatsoever. So we recommend the hard candy pillows because those are nice and sturdy. Yeah. yeah. The same exact flavors. Yeah. It's the same candy. It's just different form. Because you won't exactly. actually be getting ribbon candy. No. <laughs> this is something, yeah, because it'll be ribbon candy flavored, is it? it. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle the nice. Maybe we could take like one picture of what it would look like and then just like print it out and put it in the box. Yeah. Like, this is what it used to look like. There you go. You can set it out on the table. Next it's almost to it. like taunting them. Yeah. <laughs> today I was checking out my Facebook because I invited people on Facebook last night to come and watch us today. Mm -hmm. And, um,. Somebody left us a review. I called her. She's in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And she placed an order. And um, it's cold enough to ship. You don't need second day air anymore. But mm -hmm. she placed an order and she put in second day air. So I called her and said, hey, you know, Massachusetts is already going to get there in two days by FedEx ground. So you don't really have to do second day air. And it can save you nine bucks. And she's like, are you kidding me? You're calling me about this? Does anybody ever say no? I was like, uh, they might have different reasons for saying no. But I just <laughs> want to check with you. And she's like, yeah, instead of giving me the $9 back, Give me more candy. <laughs> <laughs> so I did, but she she left a review on Facebook that she thought that was kind of swell that a mom and a pop would take the time to call. And uh, yeah, I don't want people to spend any more money than they have to. They'll think yeah. our shipping's too expensive. Mm -hmm. Why not get more candy? Mm -hmm. So that's what that's the. Uh, so how much is shipping for someone to get in something in Massachusetts? When it's Massachusetts not two was like okay, so second day air is twenty three. So if you take away nine. So it was like fourteen. Whoa, fourteen. And it's and after as you add to it, that doesn't go much past the fourteen. It's the first getting those first couple pounds there. Yeah. That somebody else was um, in Maine and he wanted something, and his shipping was going to be ten dollars because it goes by destination. Rural costs more wherever you are, and his shipping was going to be ten dollars. And he was emailing me saying, "How can we get this shipping done?" I was like, "Um, FedEx and UPS Ground, and you really can't." He's like, "Can't use the post office?" I'm like, "Well." No, because one, they tend to just chuck it anywhere. They don't insure food, they damage it. It's like, oh, too bad, we're kind of sorry. <laughs> um, and three, they don't pick up here. And we don't have anybody to spare to go to the post office and stand in line. You know what we need, Craig? Mm. Tie-dyed aprons, so that this type of thing wouldn't be so obvious. It just looks normal. By the end of the day, I look like I have a tie-dyed apron. Well, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Linda's got competition. Yeah. Dee Wahlberger, she's a local woman here. She came by yesterday and bought me two Christmas stockings that she made for us to hang up. You'll have to get a shot in the store. Yeah. One is a, a candy background, kind of like the apron that mm. Linda made for us. Mm. The other one is a ribbon candy background. Wow. Okay, she's trying to home in on her territory. Wow. I hope this isn't a smackdown. Okay, I'm going to go over. What should I do? Go over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow you and make sure she doesn't leave. Now this is kind of pale. It's kind of a pale pink. I hope you're happy. <laughs> That's already kind of changing color. Pink is my favorite color. It's really not. Yeah. I'd say purple is. You and Kara. 
I'm okay with black too, but I guess it's not officially a color. Hmm. I'm gr I'm really glad I'm not Steve. Yeah. It's kind of droopy, but I didn't want to wait yep. too long. Droopy things are people too. <laughs> yeah. Your motto is no more cold batches, huh, Steve? I don't want to lose another one. I know, when we did candy canes the other day, we did have a little bit of cold batch trouble where it became impossible to pull. You know how you can't, like, stretch a rock? Mm -hmm. It was like that. Mm -hmm. It happens. You can't stretch a rock. And there's probably going to be some geologists that tell us that you can. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I, I'm not a geologist, I don't know. Okay, I'm happy with the pink. Hmm. I had to put that back on there. I know, it got worn off and people would have been in danger of somebody building a house with can it. Can you tap it a little? I sure can tap it with this tin hammer. <laughs> so you want to explain to everybody what you're doing with your hammer and the hook? I'm, I'm creating vibrations to loosen it from the hook. And trying to make dad work faster? That doesn't work. If that was the case, I would just carry a hammer around with me all the time. Do you want me to tap it again? Yes. Yep. I know I'm probably holding the hammer wrong, Carpenters. <laughs> Good. This is what works for me. Okay, I'm going to take it off. You can take it off. That's when you really got to hammer it. Go. Just go. Hmm. Some get stuck? Just a tiny bit. No big. Looks like gum, huh? Yeah. Because it's pink. And if you have wintergreen gum, it probably tastes like gum, too. Probably. Looks like a big piece of gum, huh? Yeah. Alright, I'm dying over here. I'm gonna take off my sweatshirt. I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere, alright? People think it's easy being a cameraman, don't they? It's mm. not. So what did I miss? Mm. Just pulling stuff out? It's very tongue-like. <laughs> it really even, does look like a tongue. It's even tongue color. Mm -hmm. Depending on your tongue. The first it's like one. a dog tongue. Yeah. That's what dog tongues look like, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. All curly and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's the size I want it to be. Hey, perfect. Right out of the gate. Hmm. Good job, Steve. Oh, that's really long. Hey. Yep, I gotta get my rig my ribbon candy sea legs back. Good thing you got the earrings on, huh? Yeah, that should help a lot. Yeah. How important are the earrings? I'd say it's of primary importance. Yeah. If she got Max some clip-ons. Yeah, oh. if you can find them. <laughs> yeah. Which I don't think you can. Clip-on ribbon candy earrings. Yeah. Do you want to explain to everybody how you're doing this with sure. your fingers? I am right-handed, and it, so it helps if you are right-handed. and and the candy puller is on your left. Otherwise, it'd be a whole big thing, and I just, I can't even figure out the logistics. You know, it would probably would be a lot easier if Dad was on the other side for Max. Yeah, can we get him to change that? Yeah, right, we'll just change everything. Yeah, <laughs> but then what about me? Yeah, we'll change it back. Okay, that sounds like a really... And like, you know, if Max needs to step out to go to the bathroom or something, we'll just have Dad move everything halfway right. through the bathroom. That sounds like a really good plan. Yeah. That sounds efficient, is what, you're, mm -hmm. is what I'm thinking. That's all, yeah, I'm just thinking about so efficiency, gonna, you know? Move these down. He just did the flip, which gives me a couple of seconds to move things down. So whatever's down down here is going to be the cooler stuff. Mm-hmm. And whenever people are working here, 
Because I'm sure a lot of the subscribers are probably going to be working here eventually. I imagine so. But, Why so, wouldn't they be? So when you start working here, you're going to have to know there's a little bump right here. So when you do move it down past this little crease, you have to bring it down here and then up. Yep. So now they know for their first day of work. The first day of work that we can ribbon again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Riveting. Riveting ribbon. Riveting ribbon. <laughs> so what are you doing when you reach under the candy like that, Dad? Making sure it's not sticking. So, how many seconds do you have? One, two. Three. Oh, three seconds, huh? Or maybe four. <laughs> You're starting to hard up towards the end. This particular one, no, but that does happen sometimes. Yeah. Or like if he's if he has to mess with the neck a little bit to mm. get it the width that he wants. Yeah. That will make that the piece coming out kind of cold, and then it will crack. Mm. I've noticed that like, even right here it just gets thinner. Even when Dad's pulling it out. Now we talk about thinness, we're talking about um, the thickness of it as it would pertain to a piece of paper when you're talking about thin that way. Mm -hmm. And then we're talking, the other type of thin or thick would be the actual width of the ribbon. Yeah. So sometimes when I'm communicating with your father that I need something to be thinner or thicker, I have to... Okay, very descriptive. Yeah, right what are you talking about? Actually, this <laughs> particular time, this is the first time I ever thought of it, is like comparing it to paper. Mm -hmm. You know, after 30 years or something, you learn stuff. <laughs> the 30th year finally clicks? I think it's been more than 30. It's been, well, a long time. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing this I can't do the math right now. It's too hard. Hmm. Let's check we are the known size. for our math skills. We are. Okay, because we got married in 1984, but I didn't really start doing ribbon candy till probably five or six years into our marriage because his um, cousins and uncles used to do it with them. Mm -hmm. But they kind of lost interest, you know, they're busy, couldn't always get them together on days when the weather was right, so we realized that this is something we're going to have to do ourselves, kind of like his grandparents did. Mm -hmm. So then we realized that I had, and Uncle John, he always was able to do it, he always made time, but um, you know, the cousins, they're young and having families and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and I need to move this, so get out of my way. Get the heck out of my way. I would have shoved you on your forehead, but oh, I, I know. not contaminate my gloves. That's your most common move. Yep. The forehead the shove. Forehead shove. A little bit shorter, Steve. This is we want to make sure we can fit it in the box. Just a mm. tiny bit shorter. Okay. Let's see. Perfect. Wow. If it gets too paper thin, it'll actually tip over because it's like trying to stand a piece of paper on its side. Yeah. Not can not can do it. Not can do it. Oh, it just blew it a little bit too. I don't know if people have caught that on YouTube, but just saying it's so light it just went. Yeah. Oh, from I've the fan. seen the fan actually blow a piece of ribbon candy 
across the counter. <laughs> I mean, that's really what distinguishes our ribbon candy is that it's so paper thin. That's why we can't ship it because there are other ribbon candies out there if they use a machine and they're yeah, a lot thicker. That. Yeah, so it's blowing my curl out. It doesn't just happen to my hair. <laughs> Okay, Steve's flipping, so I have to move this, so I'm going to need a little bit of space here, son. So what I'm doing with my right hand is my fingers are going up and down, I'm not going back and forth, going up and down, only to about halfway down my fingernail. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get your fingers too entrenched because you'll just kind of like tip over your ribbon. Yeah. And then on the left hand, my thumb is moving forward, just pushing it forward. I try not to move my whole hand. The four fingers on my left hand are really just guiding the ribbon to keep it from going anywhere. The biggest mistake you can make when twisting ribbon candy is moving your left hand back and forth mm -hmm. like a Ouija board. Mm. It's not the way to do it. Okay, gotta move. Good to flip. I also have to be careful not to let them stick together, Ooh. which if that happens, we'll just oh let it geez. harden. I'll let it harden up a little. So this one's gonna be Max's first one? Or next this, one? This one's gonna be this Max's next first one? one. Go ahead, Max. Come oh on, boy. get in there. You ready? Hope you, you limbered up. You know the whole I can't breathe thing? <laughs> you don't have to breathe. That's good, you got your thumb out of the way and everything. Nice! Wow! wow you are whoa. making me, oh, you are making awesome. me look to totally <laughs> bad. Yes. Wow! Well, he's a natural. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Took me six years. Okay, next one is yours. So I guess the other ribbon candy helped you. Uh, the peanut butter fell on, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I mean, technically, it wasn't like really your first. And the fruit yeah. roll-ups didn't it, hurt it feels a thing like a either. Game. Okay, jump yeah, the in fruit roll-ups are awesome. You can take those home with you and practice at home with you. <laughs> Seriously, that would honestly make me feel so much better. Go ahead. I mean, you're not going to do this again until you. next year. So. I don't yeah, need that so I'll kind of need thing. to. Mm. Looks awful so pretty. Wow. I could cry. <laughs> Grab that one. That's great, Max. Looking at puke. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till the camera's off at least, right? That's great, that's great, man. Look at that, that right in there with the big boys. It, even though you're left handed, you can do it. <laughs> even though I don't know you're left handed. I can do that. But if I was in the other way, holy. It's seriously, like, like when I get done, I'm like, all right. I gotta remember to breathe now. Like, yeah, <laughs> we don't want you I'm, passing out. That's okay, true. Go ahead. We don't want you passing out because you forgot to breathe. Because that's usually a natural function. Yeah, usually. I think my heart stops beating while I'm doing this too. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This could be bad for you. <laughs> I feel like a uh, awake version of sleep apnea. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get me through it. Yeah, that one's a little Unbelievable. Wonky. wonky. That's that wonky. Is. Dude, that's pretty wonky. You look like the difference in the curl. That's better than anybody has ever done it. Yeah. For the little time you've done it. Be careful with your words, Dad. Don't worry about me. I don't have an ego. It took me six years to get it right because I was moving my whole hand until Steve's father said, Quit moving your whole hand! Just move your thumb! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh no, maybe that's just how I heard it. Oops, did I just on your foot? No, it was my shoe, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, she has wearing shoes. Go! There you go, This is where Lamaz breathing comes in super, <laughs> super handy. I'm gonna have to teach him Lamaz breathing, even though he's not giving birth. It's oh, okay. It's a it's a it's a breathing technique for when you're giving birth to manage the pain. It's a car. Or the ner but after you it's have your kid, you can use it for managing nervousness. To this very day, if something is a situation's getting out of hand, it's I just really good, Max. breathe deep and calm down. Thank you. Go, Max, and we'll, we'll do Lamaz breathing when we're stacking. Okay. And, no, no, not that one. I never use that one. Just the, the slow, deep chest ones. I found that one to be useless. Don't use that one. <laughs> but apparently he knows some of it. I hope he didn't learn the Maz wrong. I think it's the... I've seen it like this... They call it like smile meditation or something. Okay. I That's think fair. I've seen it where they have like the... 
um, all the different shapes and she can like breathe in a, a pentagon and then breathe in a... That's too complicated. Bed, so. That's like ge doing geometry right. while you're... <laughs> Now, is that for giving birth or just for life in general? I think it's just breathing. Okay. Uh, this is life in okay, general. This is, our, this is our first cold one, so I just uh, got a little piece fell off. So this is our scrap pile right now. <laughs> hey, you guys are doing <laughs> Which well. Which is awesome, because sometimes you just got like a pile over here. Which is not the end of the world because it does go in the molasses batch. Mm -hmm. But if you can have a very teeny tiny scrap pile, it means you're doing something right. That's good. I was going to do something have right. that. Uh, I just did the last one, so I felt No, I don't right. want to be a ribbon candy hog. Maybe I should uh, end the video here and get some get some stills. You want some pics? Yes, I'd love yeah. some stills. Some pics for the gram and some pics for the website. And yes, because I never have, I never think to take stills. It's always going on to the next task. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to get some uh -oh, I got another piece quick B-roll and then... Alright. I guess we'll see you guys later then. Good talk.